Hi all, this is Tim Olson. I'm one of the developers working on the TurboCAD Mac family of products, along with PowerPack. In this demonstration, we're going to show two tools from PowerPack. The first tool is the Subdivision to NURB tool. This tool takes a subdivision mesh, a quad dominant mesh, and converts it into a surface or a solid. The resulting surface or solid is a G2 continuous and smooth, suitable for downstream modeling operations within a precision CAD system. The second tool is the show free edges. This tool examines the edges of a model and creates an edge if the edge is only shared by one surface. You can use this to repair and fill gaps in surfaces. Subdivision meshes can be created with TurboCAD Mac or imported from another modeling system capable of supporting subdivision meshes. Modeling applications that uh, support uh, subdivision meshes include TurboCAD Mac Pro, TurboCAD Pro PC, Moto, 3D Studio Max, Silo, and Blender. This tool is not suitable for models imported as STL files. They typically have very random sized triangles, DXF files, or scanned data. Now, if you do pre-process some of that data, especially like scan data with an application such as 3D Coat, which has remeshing capabilities, or Mesh Labs, you then can bring it into a power pack and reconvert that data into a NURB data. Some of the advantages of subdivision modeling is, especially with a power pack, is that it will optimize and group up collections of facets such that you will have a reduced number of NURB surfaces from the original number of facets. For example, if you start off with a thousand facets, after it's been sub deed it may only have a hundred NURB surface as a result. It does support triangles, however it does work best with quad dominant uh, meshes. The tool is, is really nice because it uh, bridges the gap between ver two very popular modeling methods of subdivision, polygonal modeling, and precision CAD. Uh, there's some things that you can do with subdivision modeling you just cannot do, or it's very difficult with the precision CAD system. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our demonstration. I've imported an OBJ file. This OBJ file is an open, not closed, uh, collection of facets. And let's go ahead and let's, let's see what we have. I typically will go ahead and go do a mesh analysis. And uh, I'm going to look for a quad dominant mesh to be suitable for this command. And this has 720 quads. So let's go to our tool. And that is the subdivision to NURB tool. And we'll just select our mesh. And this tool will go ahead and convert, consolidate, optimize the facets into the NURB services. Let's go ahead now and go to the verify tool and let's see how many faces that it actually created. I'm going to use the check object command for that. And we can see it created 120 faces, 120 individual surfaces grouped together uh, from the original 720 facets. Okay, now that we have a NURB, let's go ahead and use some of our modeling commands to create a, a necklace or a pendant, and we'll stitch this uh, the surface into a solid. Now we have some openings that we want to close, and I'm going to use the Power Pack Show Free Edge tool to identify the edges and then close those gaps up. Go ahead and pick them, and the red lines that were created are the free edges. Let's turn off the NURB surface. And I'm going to jump into the top view. I'm going to close off these two planar surfaces. And to do that, I'll use the cover tool. And we'll create a cover surface here. And then I'm going to turn that off. And then I'll create the outside cover surface. And now let's turn on all of our geometry. And we have surfaces that now completely define a closed volume. So I'll go to the stitch tool and stitch these into a solid. 
Okay, so now that we have it as a solid, we can do a modeling operation such as, let's do a blend operation. And when we talk about some of the advantages of, of subdivision modeling and, and precision modeling, a, a constant radial blend is something that's very difficult to do in a, a polygonal model. So let's go ahead and put a blend here. That's pretty small. Let's go ahead and change that to a four inch blend. There we go. And let's do another operation. Let's put a, a connection element up on top here. And I'm just going to create a line and a circle. And then let's go ahead and create a pipe between those two. And let's do some modifications here. Then we'll do a boolean operation, and then let's go ahead and locate our part on our model. And we'll do a boolean operation again. We'll take our pendant and with our eye ring, and there we have our our simple pendant. Let's go ahead and access our rendering tools and do one last thing. We'll, we'll render it up as a gold item. Now use a metal preset. I'll have shadows on with a draft shuttle. And let's just tell it to render it up. And then that concludes our demonstration of PowerPack subdivision to NURBS. Thanks all.